Hello and welcome to my workshop. I'm Dave Newell and today I'm going to be talking about solar panels. Solar can save you money if you would otherwise be using hookup or a generator to provide you power. They cost a few hundred pounds now to buy the kit, but once you've got it installed, there is no further cost to it. And if you're not having to run a generator or use a main site with hookup, you can be saving money in that respect. You can buy a solar panel kit and install it yourself, or you can have it installed professionally by most workshops around the country will do that. It's a relatively straightforward job. Most of the work is involved in hiding the wire and keeping it tidy inside. If you're doing it yourself, a typical kit will consist of the solar panel, a pair of mounting feet. They come in various shapes and sizes. These are perfect for this type of panel and size. Waterproof cable entry box. This is where the cables will come through and enter through the roof of the vehicle and then go down to the regulator. And a pair of cables. These need to be ultraviolet proof cable protection. So the, the sheathing on the cable won't degrade in sunlight. Ordinary cables will degrade over a matter of time and break down. Basically, the solar panel is what's called a photovoltaic array. Fancy name, it turns sunlight into electricity. A typical panel as used in a motorhome will produce anywhere between 17 and 22 volts direct from sunlight. That's obviously too high to feed straight to your battery. 22 volts into a 12 volt battery will soon wreck it. So we use a regulator. Two different types of regulators, PWM, pulse width mode, and MPPT, maximum power point tracking. PWM simply switches on and off very rapidly to regulate the voltage. MPPT is a bit more complicated. It does it electronically and regulates the voltage and current by that means. The beauty is the MPPT can give a claimed 30% more energy from the same size solar panel to charge your batteries with. The PWMs are obviously cheaper, MPPTs are dearer, but you do get more for your money. If you've got a continental vehicle, typically German built, they will almost certainly have Shout Electrics. Um, Shout produce their own regulator, this is their MPPT unit. This will plug directly into their distribution unit, the, the Electroblock, and distribute the charge between the engine and leisure batteries accordingly. So in summary, do you need a solar panel? Maybe, maybe not. If you mainly use campsites with hookup, you probably don't need a solar panel at all. If you mainly camp away from hookup, then yes, a solar panel can be a good idea. The size according to your power needs and where you're gonna be camping. If you're going up into Scotland in winter, you're gonna need a bigger panel to make some use of it. If you're gonna spend winter down in Southern Spain, an 80 watt panel will be adequate. Basic regulator, slightly more expensive, but this will make better use of the panel. And if you've got Shout Electrics, I would strongly recommend using their own system. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.